What is up everybody? This is Moritz here and I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and super often I do get asked to implement product tab sections like this one from Dior. So if they are using it, you kind of know it has to be a big deal. And actually I can charge hundreds of dollars to implement sections like this one. But in reality, you don't really need me for that because me and other developers are using an app called Section Store. It's a component library from Shopify with over 100 hundreds and hundreds of fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. And the one we will be having a look at today, you can find with the help of our search bar. It's called product tabs and it's product tabs for this is the one. And like I said, already, instead of having to pay a lot of money for developers like me, you can easily get this one for a one time charge of $9. Simply get it to your store. It's fully customizable as well. And I do think it's a really nice deal because it does enhance your store and it definitely keeps the information more compact. And here we're going to add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Light theme and then simply hit customize in. And then the theme editor will open up. I already have a little version right here where I did some pre-work. So here underneath add section, we're in the product page, by the way, here in the add section, you can find the product tabs. And it's the product tabs for. And after adding them, make sure you're gonna save it all up. And here we do already have a similar look version to the one we saw in the beginning of the video. And I'm gonna walk you through how this is working. So here we have some text. We can either decide if it's going to be from that little markup or if it's showing the product description. This is possible. So if I go here, it's directly getting this from the product description. And if you type in text yourself, it's just gonna simply take it from there. So here you have the crafted, if I would change that, you would see right here that after saving it up, it would change as well. And this is pretty much how you can fill it with content. So here it should have changed, yeah, to this mark. And now I wanna show you how you can do customizations to the whole thing itself, because I do think this was pretty straightforward. You can add more tabs as well. This is pretty nice about the section too. So you can decide the gap between the little blocks right here. Let's move this up a bit. I would like to have it here. Yeah, this is where it happens. Um, so here the gap between the blocks should have gotten increased a bit more. Just always make sure you save it up so it gets registered by the block itself. And of course the whole thing is fully responsive. I want to show you that as well. So if we switch to mobile right here, we can see it is working perfectly fine. And you can do a bunch of more customizations like changing the font size. Here, this is getting a bit bigger. You can also decide if it's going to get changed between mobile and the normal desktop. And here we could, for example, change the title to this blue tone and the hover maybe to even more blue. So if you hover over it, it's going to look something like this. And yeah, a bunch of more things you can change, but I'm not going to go into detail too much. I just wanted to give you a brief little overview of how this section is operating. And if we give this a little reload now, we should be able to see all our changes got implemented. And this is looking really nice. And yeah, hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.